Uh, I saw, you know, Shil Kapati and the ringer wrote a thing today too. I don't know if you saw that, but the Niners are 15th in rushing DVOA. They were second last year. Purdy's throwing into a tight window 22% of the time. Only Dak Prescott has more tight window throws. Last year, Purdy was throwing into a tight windows 12.8%. So last year, 12.8. This year, 21.8. Um, is there something? I mean, now look, Ayuk's out. Debo got hospitalized. Jennings is out. McCaffrey is out. Um, but beyond that, like, is there something that stands out to you? Their play action numbers are way down. What can they do? What can Kyle Shanahan do to, to fix it? This is where you earn your money, right? Because uh, injuries happen to every one guy. Now, there's sometimes they happen to, to more teams than others in a given season. Um, but this is where you have to figure out a way to get back to basics and you know generate offense without without what your weapons there. I mean, you, you hope Pearsall can figure it out quickly. Obviously, first game in the NFL. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have to find a way to generate. I think running the ball will be a good idea, getting back to the basics of what you're good at and what you've done for so many years. Run the ball play action pass, move the pocket, just find simple ways to keep the offense ahead of the chains to try to avoid third and longs. But again, I mean, Kansas City is dealing with injuries too. It's not like everyone has injuries, right? You, you can't just say that injury is the only reason why. Kyle knows how to call an offense, right? Um, and I think they'll find a way to do it. It won't be as pretty, but this is the, this is the, the Brock Purdy thing, right? We've been talking about this for three years now, um, is – what happens when it's not perfect, right, guy? Because when you pay someone what they're going to pay Brock Purdy, I would imagine, after the season, and this is a problem with not just him, right, it's other, other quarterbacks as well, is do they elevate the team around them when things are not going well, right? Mahomes did not play terribly well in that game, but when he needed it the most, he, he made the plays, right? So Chiefs have done now for three straight years, right? When the best is needed, they play their best. Is Can Purdy do that, can, can Purdy do that guy? Can Purdy be that guy? When things are not perfect, when you have some injuries, can he elevate the team around him? It's a fair question. I would say this, though. Here's what really stands out to me. Like when I watch Andy and, you know, Mahomes has gotten – Mahomes got some – flat. I don't know if flax the word, but people are just aware like last year that his yards per attempt were way low, right? It yeah. was like Bo Nix, Oregon, throwing the ball around <laughs> the line of scrimmage, yeah. you know? Um, but the one thing is clear with Andy is like – they get fat. He likes fast athletic. He likes fast yeah. receivers. They always have one and they just get that guy, the ball as easily and quickly as possible. And, you know, he'll do end arounds. He'll do quick bubble screens. He'll tunnel screens. Feels like Shanahan really just does that stuff for Debo. Um, and I'm looking up, I'm going, okay, I know he's a young receiver and Ronnie Bell has earned more snaps in Kyle Shanahan's mind. Jacob Cowing gets free down the sideline with, He's good. Down the numbers, which nobody, Niners receivers don't do that. Just run by people. And then they threw him a bubble screen and it worked. Like, I, I just don't understand why they don't maybe create some quicker, easier throws, especially when you're struggling to protect like they were doing last week against Kansas City. Well, this is the thing that Jake T.L. Sullivan talks about in his videos. If you want to go watch a quarterback school on YouTube, some of it's free. He puts them behind a, 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 a firewall. But the Niners pass a drop back passing game, right, is not – Compared to maybe other offense, it's not a very diverse guy. Like it's not a, 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 a drop back passing game that rivals even, you know, the Chiefs. I mean, just it's just not it's not that big of a menu. And so, where the Chiefs, to your point, do a really good job of isolating Travis Kelsey, right? Or like, work, like I imagine with with Hopkins in the lineup this weekend, I, I think he plays. We don't know that they're just going to find four or five times in a game in this first game against the Raiders where they're just going to say, we're designing a play just for you, buddy. And I don't think the Niners do that. It's not, it's not what their offense is. They, they don't do that. Um, and it's a flaw of the offense, I think. And, we, again, you mentioned the Chiefs. Like, those end arounds are so so easy yards. It's McCole Hardman. Like, he he couldn't cut it anywhere else but Kansas City. And, and the against the Niners. There, right? Yeah, only against the Niners, too. It's, it's really funny. Um, and you're right. And they find ways. And like, I don't know if the Niners offense quite does that. Into that. I think Shannon has to adjust now and find ways to your point. Like we watch Cowan play in college. Duke can play, man. He can play. And you have to find ways to get him the ball now and find ways to make it easy for him to get, to get in a good rhythm. That's when the Andy Reid does so well, too. And it's hard to compare everyone to Andy Reid. But it, early in games, he makes a, an emphasis of like, we're going to get someone the ball. 
we're going to force feed someone to get them in a rhythm. And a lot of other teams just don't do that. 